and good afternoon. I'd like to welcome you to today's Laker Golf Invitational. We're coming live to you from hole number five. We'll have a boys and girls uh, coming through. As you see, kind of measured it. The white's going to be playing about 125 yards, and red is 98. They're going to be playing into uh, it's got an 11 mile an hour wind coming out of the west. They'll be hitting into. It's going to make the whole play just a little bit longer. Starting out, we're going to have Evan Menning from Dawson Boyd, Braden Coleman from Minnesota, Trenton Johnson from Tracy, and Ellis Longnecker from Ortonville. They're going to be teeing off on hole number five. Got a 430 start. Everybody's walking out. And I apologize, I have no idea who these kids are, so I'm not going to be able to help you out there. Came up just short of the green on the left side, nice shot. Hear him saying the first shot's out of the way, so... A little bit of nerves. This could be the first meet for most of these kids. Do get a little bit of rain coming down. I'll try to clear the lens maybe after this next swing here. Unfortunately, the wind is coming into us. And then they. Hold that one left. There's a water down there by that bridge. Don't know if it went in or not. shot tailing a little right oh got a great kick off of the road and back in front of the green it's like that was Braden Coleman That's good. No, it looks like it's hitting the green. And there it is, right, right there. Oh, oh, here I'll get you back. There we go. <laughs> there we go. And now they're gonna make their jump down to the green. We're gonna keep it on here. We'll get the lens cleared. There we go. So again, on this hole, we have Evan Menning from Dawson Boy, Brandon Coleman from Minnesota, Trenton Johnson from Tracy, and Ellis Longnecker from Ortonville. You can see some guys teeing off on hole number three right there. We'll put the camera on them for a little bit while we await our group walking down. It looks like they're all done teeing off there too. So here's our crew. Occasionally we'll have um, a shot of hole number four, the green. Um, when we have an opportunity. But for now, we'll watch these guys walk down the fairway. I don't have the right thing going to throw my commercials on here, so apologize to all of our advertisers out there. This is kind of a first-time thing out here. Um, 
Didn't know how this would actually work. But here we go. Uh, if you want to follow along with the tournament, you can get the I Wanna Mac or the I Wanna Maker app on iOS and Android, and follow along all year long. The Minnesota State High School League has an app out there. I believe there is a fee to use it. Here's a shot. Now you can see him over on the left-hand side there. Got a break. Was not in the water. Gonna chip it over. I am not for sure where that one went. Couldn't quite see it. That was his second shot. Um, looks like it, maybe maybe hit a tree. I think he's walking left there. So unfortunate break must have been behind a tree. Uh, those pine trees are lining the back of hole number two green. And now they're coming into play for him coming on to uh, hole number five. Didn't see the shot, but walking out, walking across as we look, we have one ball just left of the green right there. There's one ball on the green, one ball short right there. Those are three, and then our fourth ball, I, I didn't see where that one went, the gentleman in the maroon. Nice little chip shot. Hold it just a hair past the green, but he'll have a good look for a par right there. Pretty straight shot. Another chip shot. Early in the season, this is where the feel for the game is difficult. Now I'm gonna pause our gentleman. Uh, Hit into a hazard across the road. There's got a drop. Had to deal with the trees uh, behind number two green. We got two balls on the green. We're looking to make it three here. This is shot number two. Just saw one roll across there. That was a gentleman in the uh, maroon. I didn't see him ready to hit. My apologies. But let me see his ball. I'll counter shots in a second here. Like I said, at the beginning of the year, those <laughs> chip shots, those short ones, they're, they're tough. It's a tough feel. So now, um, third shot here. I'm doing my best to keep track. There's four people. It's hard enough to keep track of your own. Kind of bladed it, but it's going to work out. Got it right up by the hole. I have that one left for bogey. So a gentleman in maroon. Hit one, two, three, drop four, hit five, six. I believe he'll be hitting his seventh shot here. Rolls it up there. will be... Going for eight now. He's gonna gonna finish out and finishes strong. Nice putt. I think they're trying to figure out the strokes. I would say eight, but we'll see what they come up with.
So if you're just joining us on hole number five right now, we have Evan Menning from Dawson Boyd, Braden Coleman from Minnesota, Trenton Johnson from Tracy, and Elle Slognucker from Ortonville. This right here is a birdie putt. Uh, pretty straight putt, probably going to break a little right to left, but early on in the year with the greens a little bit slower, there's not as much um, break in the greens. Did not get a chance to putt, so I don't know. Rolling. Just a hair past, a little bit on the high side. Like I said, the brakes just aren't there. You see it, but it's not going to break as much as you think. Then straddles the line, taps in for par. Nice start. Uh, here comes another par shot. Again, I wish I knew who these kids were. Probably the only ones I'm going to know are, are the Lakeview kids. Just missed it to the right side. Tap in for bogey. Here comes another bogey attempt. All right, and these four gentlemen are done. They're going to be moving on to hole number six. And now. Let's see here. I'm kind of in a bad spot. Take a look at hole number four. Coming our way will be Landon uh, Keeman from Dawson Boyd, Colton Jenkins from McCray, Jace Sorensen from Minota, and Gavin Dwyer from Ortonville. Well, that's who we're watching right now on hole number four. Got a little glitch going on right there. Don't know what that was. Yeah, what's going on? We got a little video issue going on. Let's maybe move. Maybe it's the this wireless antenna thing here. It was really close to the computer. Maybe you're getting some um, frequency disturbances, or I'm just making up words right now. But we'll see if that helps get away from. The computer. Yeah, it's still going. Oh, dang it. What's going on here? Ah, it's still. Ah, it's still happening. Okay, my apologies. All right, our screen's gonna go black momentarily. This is normal, I'm gonna switch out cables. Who knows, maybe it's as simple as a cable. All right, those gentlemen are done. That was uh, Landon Keeman, Colton Jenkins, Jay Sorensen, and Gavin DeWire. They're gonna be making their way here to hole number five. Hole number one, out of the way. Again, you can follow along with the meet all day. We get the Minnesota State High School League app on iOS and Android and the Play Store. Nope, the god dang it, that glitch is still happening. Hmm. I wonder if that's happening on your guys' end too. I don't know. Hopefully not. Now we're getting some more raindrops coming down right now. That's 
No bueno. That goes in pretty far. Yeah, I can get all the way. Yeah, but I don't know. It's 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 kind of been glitching on me here, so I I don't know. It's weird. I watch it every once in a while, and it's like because I'm doing it wirelessly because I'll have to move move for the ladies. But yeah, it's going to YouTube right now. We're live. Yeah, we're live. Yeah. So here we got Landon Keeman from Dawson Boyd, Colton Jenkins from McCray, Jay Sorensen from Minota, Gavin Dwyer from Mortonville. I think that's right. Archer Schmidt. 3A. Hmm. So they, they started on whole oh, I thought like how it Colton. Yeah, and the first time I gave you guys wrong names, that's my bad. Oh, that's right at it. Just a little long, but caught the green. Take that 10 times out of 10. Nice shot. Well, just a little left and safely just across the bridge right there easy chip for up and down Names right of these gentlemen here, so we should have Carter Taches from Central Minnesota Christian, Archer Schmidt from YME, Landon Keeman from Dawson Boyd, and Colton Jenkins from McCray. Let's take a look at hole number four right now. While well, these guys make their walk up the green. So now on Hole number four, we should have Jay Sorensen from Minota, Gavin Dwyer from Ortonville, Trevor Tusberg from Lakeview, and Riley Roskins from McCray. Those all four are up on hole number four right now. So until our... Gentlemen get to the green, we'll keep an eye on this hole. I was wrong. This shot came a little short here. I thought it was across. That's what I saw from the camera. My bad. Chipped it just a little past the green.
Here comes his second shot. Well, 15 feet to go. Fairly straight putt. Maybe a hair right to left. There's a second shot. Putt for birdie. And the speed of the greens are difficult. Chip back and cross over the green. That's his third. Looks like we had one go across the road. Gonna be a penalty stroke. So this will be the third shot with the penalty. So we had two shots going at the same time there. Um, both, both of those that just went will be putting for bogey. Yes. Here comes a power putt. Don't know who's gonna go. All right, this this is a bogey attempt. Just missed it on the right side. Easy tap in, double bogey. All right, here's a par. Stayed pretty straight, as we could see that on this line here. Here's a par attempt. Man, some people are getting there out with this one. And it just, it was curling back in there, just left it a hair short. That has that left for a double bogey. Here's a bogey attempt. And the putt falls in, nice bogey. Here's another bogey putt. Drops it. Now I believe these are double bogey putts. Makes it. They're both fairly close. Should be easy tappings, but do want to take anything for granted. dropped it. So two bogeys, two doubles, and they'll be moving on. And our next crew is ready to go. Here we have, we'll have Gavin Dwyer from Ortonville, Trevor Tusberg from Lakeview, Riley Roskins from McCray, and Jay Sorensen from Minneota.
got some tee shots going on on number three up there. See what our wind is doing right now. We're at uh, 11 mile an hour wind from the west, so they're hitting into the wind. Nice shot. That one's tracking right at it. Nice shot on the green right there. See that one. Heard the name Jace on that one. I nice shot Jace. Jace Sorensen. Gavin Dwyer. That ball's fading in there. Also on the green, maybe, there it is. Two shots, two on the green. I know this guy, this is Trevor Tusberg from Lakeview. Nice shot. Catching the left side of the green. Just trickled off. And now Riley Roskins from McCray. So again, I didn't see where that one went, but they're saying it's playable and don't know where it ended up. While they make their walk up to the green, let's take a look at what's going on at hole number four. Oops. On that hole should be Joseph Graves from Central Minnesota Christian, Harley Labatt from YME, Carson Stratmullen from Dawson Boyd, and Kyle Krauske from Lakeview. That was Kyle's shot right there. Chipped it up and hit the pin. Don't know what number he's on or shot how many people we got we got 20 people watching thank you for tuning in um, this is our first time ever broadcasting out here from the Cottonwood Country Club uh, running this one off of the hotspot off of my phone so I really didn't know what we were going to get but we're getting something our group is walking up on hole number 5 let's Tune back into them. Riley Roskins walking over to his ball. Looks like he did go left. We see him walking over by those trees. That's the trees behind uh, the green on number two. Still searching. Oh, found it. Bag down. So we'll see what what he ends up uh, coming with. Coming up with. So we got a chip over the water. To that green. 
Easy peasy. <clears throat> we do have a little light mist uh, coming down. Not terrible. Alright, I think Riley Roskins has found his ball. Moved his bag. You can kind of see him over. That's his head right there. That's Riley Roskins. He's got to play over the water onto the green. And that's a difficult shot, but can't, can't ask for much more than that. Rolled it across the green. He'll have a nice chip back coming up the hill. Maybe get up and down for bogey. There's Trevor Tusberg on the left side. Everybody else, they're on their second shots. Trevor is going to go. Didn't know if he was going to wait for Raskin's side. Flopped it up there nicely, left himself about a 10 foot par putt. Now we got Riley Raskins with his chip shot. This is his third. Rolls it up there nicely, should have a good shot at bogey. This is Gavin Dwyer from Ortonville with a birdie putt. And disappointed in himself, he left that one short. Just missed it, no harm. Just got to come back on that second one. Run this. this is Jace Sorensen from Minnesota with a birdie putt. And leaves that one short. One thing we're noticing is a lot of kids are leaving these balls short. The greens are just slower in the beginning of the year. They're not midsummer form, and that makes putting a little more challenging. Here's a birdie attempt. We see one trying to break in there. And yeah, that was a par. Maybe I said birdie, that should have been a par attempt. Yeah, Trevor Tusberg for a par. Just missed it. Tap in bogey. But he's going to pick it up and think about it. Here, Jay Sorensen with a par attempt. Drained it. So 
believe this is for bogey. The cup is on fire, and that's two for two. I remember right, this is another bogey attempt. Just short of the hole. The cup was on fire, and Tusberg knocks it in for bogey. And they're on. Rain is starting to come down a little bit more. A little bit heavier. Now, coming up, we'll have Joseph Graves from Central Minnesota Christian, Harley Labatt from Wyoming, Carson Stratmoon from Dawson Boyd, and Kyle Krauske from Lakeview. A nice looking ball. It's on the left hand side. Caught the green right there. Nice shot. This rain is coming down heavier. We're going to have to cover up some camera equipment here in a second. across the road. I lost it right away off the club. That one's the same result. I have an idea. We're actually going to get our pop-up tent going. We'll let these guys finish off so I don't make so much noise. That one caught the water as well. Okay, now we had two balls go across the road, so these guys are going to re tee. This will be shot number three for Kyle. Might actually heard a little thunder. about what to do here. The rain is really starting to come down now. I'm going to have to get this pop-up tent going quick. I'm going to have to change the camera angle and all that good stuff, but we'll make it work. That 
one, one off to the right. All right, you maybe saw that one. I'm going to step away for a second while we get the camera and stuff all um, <laughs> covered up. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Back, I really don't know what shots these guys are on. Again, I apologize for that. I just had to get the camera and everything uh, squared away here. So again, you're watching hole number five.
I don't know what shots these gentlemen are on. Depending on what happens with this rain, um, for when the girls come through, may actually just uh, stay in this location. The plan was to move the camera. So on this hole right now, I can you're watching Joseph Graves, Harley Labatt, Carson Stratmont, and Kyle Kurowski. Okay, now we're moving on. Now we'll have uh, Jack Messink, Evan Mork, or er, Evan Mork, Lane Arns, Sawyer Jansen. This is Lane Arns. I think that came up just short. I think it's right there, but it's really hard to <laughs> track the ball with the cloud cover and camera. And in this little tent, pop up tent here. A nice looking ball. That one's going right at it. Came up just short. Right there. Saw it come down right there. Now we got two balls just short of the green. There's a the wind is coming into us, so it makes the play hole a little bit longer. Measure at about 125, so I'd say probably about 135 with the wind. And then factor in the rain, wet balls maybe a little bit longer. Pulled left. Don't know, that might have caught water. I think that was Sawyer Jansen from McCray.
Gotta figure out a way for me to get a little more cozy here. Uh oh. Internet issue. What's going on? Let me see. Showing an issue, but it seems to be working. Oh, might be back. Okay, now joining us on this show will be Seth Zort from Prinsburg, Cooper Makash, Drew Yamland, and Carson Bow. Hey Carson, can you do you think you guys could move just like thank you. I don't interrupt your like rhythm or anything. I don't care, go for it. Oh. <laughs> All right, there's our second shot up there. I apologize. I haven't been normally. I, well, I was keeping track of everything, like how people were scoring on this hole, but I'm having a heck of a time keeping track with trying to keep all of our equipment dry. So hopefully you're at home keeping track, because I can't. You know, we really needed the rain, but it didn't really need to happen right now. Like 8 o'clock would have been a great time for this to come down. And these guys are done. And now, if my math and everything is right, this should be the end 
of the boys. Nope, uh, nope, there's a few more that we're going to see yet. My math is wrong. So we've got Seth Sort, Super, uh, Coop, Seth Sort from Central, Cooper McCash from YME, Drew Yamlin from Dawson Boyd, and Carson Bull from Lakeview. Here's Carson Bow. Got over, it came up here short. This ground is really wet. Makes this shot a lot more difficult. And it came down somewhere over that way, a little bit left. Could not see through the bodies. A little knockdown shot into the wind. That one came up short too. So now with the rain that's um, playing a little bit bigger factor on the shots. Oh, stream don't go away. So I apologize if we're having stream issues. I don't know what else I can do right now. I'd probably have to st start it over if it's struggling. And it came back green again. So every once in a while it's just intermittent. Um, just doing a hotspot from my cell phone. So that's, a, that's what we get. We don't have our strong internet like we have in the school. Um, but we're trying to bring you uh, the best stream that we possibly can. Um, looks like this gentleman may be the hit in the water. He came up short. Uh, didn't see if he dropped or not. There's Carson on the right. And we got one more. 
um, over there across that bridge. Don't know what he's found yet. So again, we want to thank you for tuning in uh, to this broadcast. 48 degrees. There we see a chip shot up and just short of the green. That's probably a drop shot. So one, two in, drop three. Or one in, drop two, hit three. Going to be hitting his fourth shot. Another shot onto the green. Uh, it's right on the other side of that person there. Okay. This one did clear the green. So this is number two. Shifted a little long. All right, here's Carson Bow, his second shot. Roll it up there, left it about five feet short of the pin. And we'll have that left for par. There was a nice chip shot up. That was. Uh, I think it was four, so hit one in, drop two, hit three up there, four ups so left with that for a double bogey. Now one thing that we've seen all afternoon is everybody uh, leaving a lot of putts short just because of the early season. And, and now with the rain, these greens are going to be even slower, so we'll see how these guys handle that. be left with that for a bogey. Hmm, got a notification rain stopping briefly in 12 minutes and then starting 15 minutes later so expecting a little break in the rain but hey We'll believe it when it happens. So on this hole, we have Seth Zort from Central Minnesota Christian, Cooper McCosh from YME, Drew Yaman from Dawson Boyd, and Carson Bow from Lakeview. Carson Bow stepping up. This is a par putt for him. And drains it. That's a good par. I 
believe this is a double bogey putt. Unless that first one wasn't in the water. And, it, and just missed it tap in. Let's see here we were. This might also be a power putt. Can't quite remember. My apologies. Drained it. It has been fun to see a lot of these kids. Once they get within 10 feet, a lot of their putts have been dropping. So building a lot of confidence. Now with the tent that I'm in, once they're done, I'm not going to be able to move the camera over to uh, take a peek on hole number four. And just because they, um, I can't see them. All right, there we go. That hole is done. So now coming up here, there should be people that started on nine. I think that unless maybe they made a change. Cause that it should be girls coming right now, but I um I'm not seeing that play out that way. So here, let's give a shout out to um, our sponsors that should have some commercials going on our varsity events, but Lakeview Booster Club, uh, Borcha Sporting Goods, City of Cottonwood, Cottonwood Body Shop, uh, Cottonwood Co-op Oil Company, uh, DJ's Planter Sales and Service, Extreme Panel, Farmward and Egg Quest, First Independent Bank, Hanley Falls Fire Department, Hyvee, uh, Infinity Egg, Jesuits Electric, The Marshall Machine Shop, North Star Mutual Insurance Company, and Pulver Towing. Again, all proud sponsors of Lakeview Athletics and our live stream. Uh, we have some lower level sponsors that uh, get advertising in the gymnasium. I believe that, let's see, that's uh, the Animal or Companion Animal Clinic. Um, uh, Derek Tal Insurance Service Agency, Coca-Cola, and I might be missing one more out there, but I'd like to thank all of our sponsors for um, everything that they do to make our lives a lot easier, and so we can bring uh, a lot of these events to you back home. Stream still going green? So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to punt on uh, which group is coming up here, because it, it's definitely not girls. Gonna be one of our six B's, six A's, or seven B's, the ones that started in holes six or seven. Um, let's see, I got a Lakeview kid in two of the three groups, so that will help me. Um, I, I, I feel confident that I'm gonna be able to get this. Let's see. So our group is still finishing up on hole number four. Again, apologize. Um, all you'd be looking through is a little like uh, plexiglass, and that's uh, not good. So let's take a look at um, the events that we got coming up here. Uh, we'll actually talk about today. I know uh, varsity track, just the jumpers, the field events are down in Tracy. Um, varsity softball um, is at Bold. And we had three students compete at the FCCLA State Convention today. Autumn Best, Paige Walker, 
and Janelle Schwartz. Um, haven't heard how they did. They had a, their presentation. And then um, if they do well enough, they will advance on to the Nationals. And I believe that's over in either Oregon or Washington. Uh, coming up tomorrow, Varsity Baseball heads to Edgerton. That is a 345 start. That will be just Varsity. Uh, Edgerton has a town vote at 6 o'clock, so they have to have that game done by 6. That's why there's going to be no JV game in the early start. Junior High Baseball is going to Red Rock Central. That game is going to be played in Walnut Grove and starting at 4.30. Junior High Softball will be home against Minneota at 4.30. Girls Basketball Banquet tomorrow night at 6.30. And then we move on to Thursday, uh, State Knowledge Bowl. Uh, kids will be competing there. Varsity Track and Field will be home. We'll be streaming that event. Varsity Baseball is also home against TMB. Uh, 3.30 start for the track and field. That's the field events, and the running events will start at 4.30. Uh, Varsity Baseball is starting at 4.30. On Friday, we'll have State Knowledge Bowl again. And Junior High Track and Field home. Junior High Baseball home versus RTR. Uh, 4.30 start for the RTR game. Junior High Softball home versus RTR. That's at 4.30. Uh, varsity Boys and Girls Golf heading over to Granite Falls at 4.30. Varsity Baseball will be home versus Wabasso at 4.30. We'll have that game streamed here in our YouTube channel. And Varsity, varsity Softball traveling to Montevideo. Okay, here we go. Hole number five. We got our next group here. Oh, that's Max Rost. Oh, 1B. There we go. This makes sense. There was two going off of hole number one. So we got Eli Gertis, Max Rost, Alex Munson, and Charlie Del Bosque from McCray. So Eli Gertis from Central. Max Ross from Minnesota, Alex Munson from Tracy, and Charlie DeBosque from McCray. It was uh, fun watching Max Ross this year on the basketball court. Scored a thousand points for the Vikings. And now he's going to sport where you don't want to get as many points as possible. Oh, that's a nice shot up in the air. Fortunately, I did not see where that came down. It was right in uh, Max Ross's line. Don't see one on the green, so probably not there. it just a little left and came down right there I know when you watch golf on TV and you watch that ball fly in the air and all I gotta say is I got a greater appreciation for the camera people that work the PGA event That one's in the air, going towards the green. And I have no idea where that one ended up. I saw it in the air. I got to look at the camera to try to get the camera there. And then I lose the ball in the clouds. Maybe a sunny day would make it easier. I don't know.
That one just came off the tee box on the ground, but should be safe, should be short of the water, so no penalty stroke coming his way. All right, now we'll stand up. Ooh. I'm in one of those pop-up tents that's about five feet tall, and when you're six feet tall, that doesn't work out very well. Uh, so we can bend over quite a bit, try to kneel, and yeah. The, the good thing is it's keeping me out of the rain. Well, let's see, we got some text messages here. Let's see what we got going on here. Alright, now we should be moving on to the girls. Um, they're just in the fairway. What? Do you think the ball is for doing it? It's it's a lot of fun. Uh, I tell you it'd be a lot more fun if it was I assure you it is not 70 degrees out here and it's not sunny. Camera moved, my apologies. Alright, here's this gentleman's second shot. All right, here comes our second shot, chipping up. Oh, we saw that. That was a nice shot. Just rolled it a hair past. Nice aggressive line at it. A uh, nice flat putt. Maybe air, hair break right to left coming, but not much. Five foot. Now we got our shots over here. I think the guy behind the green might be going, or they're both going. Don't think about high school events. They just kind of go on the ready. Especially when it's rain, probably don't want to hang around too much. Chipped it up. Just left that one short. one thing you're just not getting the rollout on the greens like they're accustomed to later on in the year um, again with the the rain too that's gonna slow the greens down it's unfortunate that we got a west wind because that's right into us like uh, I take a east wind right now not very common but or how about a south wind? Not a north wind. That would that would blow in cold. So again, we we're sitting at uh, 48 degrees, 11 mile an hour wind, straight into us, making this whole play longer. This putt for par. And probably just left that one short. It's it's tough to get the ball to the green or to the, to the cup.
starting to starting to get some wind gusts too. Nice putt. A little bit of excitement there. I believe, I believe he drained it, made the par putt. Coming up next, we'll have uh, Lindsey Lund from Dawson Boy, Caitlin Hedman from Lakeview, and Corey Brisley from McRae. Um, again, the plan was to move the camera to behind the girls on the tee box, but um, with this rain, uh, what we're we gonna say? No, we're just gonna keep ourselves in this pod right here and keep the action from this side view. Hopefully, it works okay. God of Texas is like watching the Masters. Um, uh, yes, exactly like that. Nice putt. Got a good little story about the Masters here in a second. And finishes out the putt. Nice job, gentlemen. So in 2020, I was supposed to go to the Masters, had tickets um, just for the practice days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uncle knew some people and got them lined up. Airline tickets bought, and I think we all know what happened after that in March. And so I never had a chance to go back. So again, here we go. We got Lindsey Lund, Caitlin Hedman, and Corey Brisley up on the tee for the ladies. Uh, their tee measures at about 98 yards. And we're into the wind. It still says 11 mile an hour wind, but I feel like we're getting uh, bigger gusts than that. <sighs> Gotta clear that camera there's a mark right in the way there my apologies but that's what happens when this this wind is picking up and blowing into us and blowing right into the camera lens so 98 yard shot uh, straight into the wind and put this at about 110 115 from what I've witnessed today shots up in the air Came up just short of the green, which has been the common miss today. Short. Got someone waving at the camera right there. There's Caitlin Hedman. Staying dry underneath the umbrella. Now, if I'm going on colors, I would guess that this is Brisley from McCray. Um, don't know for sure. Corey Brisley. God, I, I got to get that camera lens. And if I thought tracking the ball from right behind was hard, from the side is even harder. So we'll probably just kind of leave the camera here, not zoom in until the shot comes out. I'll try to talk you through it. Watch it as it goes. That ball is up. That's going right the green a little bit right. Right of the flag stick. Ooh, actually deep. That one went over the green. Um, over there, right there. And here's Caitlin Hedman. And just didn't quite get it off and ended up by the tree right there. And we got girl waving goodbye. I think I got her. Hopefully, got you. I think that was Bristly. Um, so, if you're back home watching, 
She was waving at you and just kind of missed it. Oh, oh boy. That was the wind there. I apologize. That was that. <laughs> this is this is fun. That's not gonna do any good. So there's Kaylin. There's her second shot. Did not see where it ended up. So one girl short of the green, one long, and Caitlin had been somewhere. So if you're tuning in at home, uh, up next we'll have Alyssa Swadinski from Dawson Boyd, Jersey Stenzer from Lakeview, and Kelly Mocked from McCray. Following them will be Claire Stratmone from Dawson Boyd, Ky Kyler Yomlin from Dawson Boyd, Cindy Manning from Lakeview, and Jovi Benson from Lakeview. And in our final grouping will be Laura Schreier from Dawson Boyd, Reese Oxendor from Dawson Boyd, Allison Isaacs from Lakeview, and Lauren Bow from Lakeview. Those will be our final groupings of the day. Ooh, camera wasn't in even the right spot. Here we go. All right, there's Brisley across the green. This is her second shot up. Chips it up, rolling towards the pin, and just past it, about three feet past, we'll have that left for par. Caitlin Hedman over on the right side there. There's Hedman shot going towards the hole. Just missing it. A little bit left. To be tapping bogey. Going with the putter. Probably about a 25 foot putt, 25, 30 feet. Rolling towards the pin. A uh, good distance, just missed it to the left. That's what she has left there. I think that was, it's hard to tell, I think that was Caitlin Hedman. The two girls kind of look like they're both wearing the black with a white stocking hat. You know, when teams wear uniforms, it makes life a lot easier. Like when you're in the gymnasium, you got white and usually a black uniform or a dark colored uniform. Just missed it. And go. 
the camera lens again. Try to dry them off before our next tee. There we go. Now on the tee. Is oh yeah. Um, my phone's wet. So it should be Alyssa Swadzinski, Jersey Stenzrud, and Callie Macht from McRae. So Jersey Stenzrud from Lakeview and Alyssa Swadzinski from Dawson Boyd. Oh shoot. Another droplet on the camera. Yeah, the wind is definitely picking up, but the watch is still saying 11 miles an hour. Um, but our gusts are a lot stronger. Pulling left a little bit. Could not see where that dropped down. Um, right over Jersey Stensrud's. There's a nice shot. Hit it crisp. Looking like it's going to hit the middle of the green. No, just over the green. Unbelievable. Probably thinking the same thing too. Like how, how can I do that? Into this wind. See that kind of walking off, off the club. She hit it clean. Jersey's ball is going right. Stop, stop, stop. And that one rolled across the road. Oh. Gonna walk over and grab another ball. And a yeah, times and done that plenty, hitting it across the road there. Getting the lens, I apologize. And so what we do is we keep drying. I don't know if I just hit buttons or not on the audio thing. It's going right to the top. All right. So we know the one girl hit long, one came up short, and I don't know where Jersey, she'll be hitting her be her fourth shot. Each of the other girls are on their seconds. Jersey with her fourth shot. Chips it up nicely next to the hole. Not bad. Good recovery. Oh, I don't, you guys probably didn't even see that. I apologize. It was a nice shot. You can see where it ended up. I got to pay attention here. 
<laughs> All three girls hit nice chip shots. Look at those things. They're right next to the hole. Looks like we got a little break. Uh, our next group isn't even on hole number four. So we're going to have a little break after. There's a par. This is Jersey for double bogey after uh, getting an unfortunate bounce and having your ball go across the road. And drains it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. Camera again. Oh, boy. There we go. Okay. So, um, unfortunately, you did not see him <laughs> any of those last putts. This wind is um, it, it, its driving me crazy here. Uh, it's I'm trying to hold this in place. Actually, I got an idea. I don't know why I didn't think of this a long time ago. Bring this down. Okay, since we have a little break, um, this is going to be normal. You're going to lose um, video for a second here. Okay, this is normal. Just moving some cables around. It's okay. It's okay. Life will be grand. I want to thank you for tuning in. Stay with me here. Got to get this thing plugged back in again. Get power going there. And voila, we are back in action again. So now, hopefully the camera doesn't uh, move on me automatically. So we got a, a little break in the action. Let's see where... All right, our next group is in the middle of the fairway at number four. So we'll be awaiting the arrival of Claire Stratmon, Kyler Yamlin, Cindy Manning, and Jovi Benson. So again, I want to thank you for tuning in and watching this Laker Invitational. Uh, we're doing our best to keep things dry. Just walked in front of the camera there. Needed, needed this thing right here. Oops. This was not as bad as the bold football game that we had, though. Um, no doubt about that. That was that weather was insane for that one. <laughs> oh, wait, wait! I got some people calling me a liar for hitting across the road. Um, I don't know. I do it once in a while. I guess maybe. All right, let's, let's give a shout out to our sponsors one more time again. Give me a second to pull them up. We'd like to thank the Lakeview Booster Club, Borch's Sporting Goods, City of Cottonwood, Cottonwood Body Shop, uh, Cottonwood Co-op Oil Company, Dependent Bank, Hanley Falls Fire Department, Hy-Vee, there's a helpful smile in every aisle, uh, Infinity Egg, Jesuits Electric, a Marshall Machine Shop, North Star Mutual Insurance Company, and Paul Bertoin, those are our top level sponsors. Also got some lower ones, and Insurance Service Agency, uh, Animal Companion Clinic, Coca-Cola, and there's one, one more, I'm trying to visualize it in the gym. If anybody back home is watching and like, hey, I know that one, give me a shout out and I'll get it going. Um, uh, yeah, we're just waiting on hole number four now. They're, they're coming eventually. If it wasn't for the rain, we could kind of watch them a little bit. Let's see here. Got an idea. Oh, yeah. What if 
I do this? Maybe, maybe. Oh, voila! Opened up this a little bit. So there's our whole number. Oh, 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 oh hole number four. And maybe you hear the wind a howling. And then our final girl group is, uh, looks like they're on the tee box now on hole number four. So we've got two more groups to come through. Actually zip this up right now. So the rain has kind of subsided a little bit. Our wind has, is starting to change direction just a hair, but we're still from the west. Uh, my watch still says 11 miles per hour, but I, I, I disagree. But what do I know? I'm not a meteorologist. Just a guy who plays a lot of golf on this course in the summertime. And a lot's probably an understatement. So again, let's run through the names on this hole. We should have Claire Stratmoen from Dawson Boyd, Kyler Yamlin from Dawson Boyd, Sydney Manning from Lakeview, and Joby Benson from Lakeview. Finishes that hole off. Probably par. We'll give her a par on that one. Give everybody a par. That birdie putt just came up short. Make it exciting. I think this is Sydney Manning putting for birdie. I really don't know what they're putting for, but it's just more fun when you're saying they're putting for birdie. And rolls it up. Just missing the hole. But just means it. And now they're going to come over to hole number five. We've got to make an adjustment to our tent. So sit tight. And um, yeah. If I don't do this, the wind really whips through here. And that's no fun. No fun for anybody. See, if we didn't have this open, that's what you would see. You would just see a bunch of raindrops can't wait get some how's it going okay I'll tell everybody to not watch okay we have a request for everybody back home to turn off the your screens and don't watch this group but we got, but they want to dance, so um, I don't know if they want you to watch or not watch, but I say keep watching. When rain is uh, let up quite a bit here. So, if you're wondering what that noise was, that was <laughs> me just getting into position to record this. Because, um, yeah, this tent doesn't work well for me. It's maybe not even five feet tall, and well, I'm a little bit taller than five feet. So, here we got Claire Stratmon, Kyler Yamlin, Sydney Manning, and Joby Benson. 
Rain expected to stop at 6.33. Perfect. That's when we're going to be done. Love that notification. All right, there's one of the Dawson boy girls. Again, I don't I don't know their names. I apologize. I just know one is Stratmon and one's Yamwind. Here's Jovi Benson, pulls it just a little left on the left side and bounces just off the green to right. Um, both there. I don't think you can see it on this shot right here. These elevated greens make it hard. Like if you don't carry the green, you are going to come up short. Or else it's going to bounce left like the Jovies did and stay off the green. Here's a nice shot. That one's tracking right at the hole and just came up a hair short. We'll zoom in on where that one is right there. Again the wind caught it. It was looking good going right at the hole. Uh, you can see this camera is not completely level but I think that one went right. Lost it. That ball is drifting right. Carry that water, carry the water. It's over the water and safe. Got the orange ball. Uh, it's going to be just right of that tree there. All right, so I'm guessing this first shot went out of bounds as that's the second shot off of the tee and bouncing onto the front of the green. Again, I'd like to thank you for tuning in to today's uh, golf meet. You can find all results online on the uh, Minnesota State High School League app. It, um, I think there is a, a fee for it, but well worth the money. The kids update the scores hole by hole. I don't have that going because I'm using my phone to stream this. And so I kind of want to save as much data as possible, or not data, but just the Whatever my phone's going to be doing, I don't know. Maybe it won't, won't bother it at all. Alright, here we go. we got a second shot chipping from the left side. Could not see where that one rolled out to. That girl chipped it just shy of the green. Sydney Manning. Chipped hers up and just short of the green. So here's her third.
From a distance, that orange ball is really hard to see. So I have no idea where that one in, went. We'll see where she's at when she goes up to the green. And if you see, there's Karen Berg out here taking pictures. She's kind of like the U.S. Postal Service. She takes pictures in any weather. Just like the Postal Service is going to deliver your mail in any weather. I know. I think Dan Gregoire is watching out there. Thank you, Dan. Mailman extraordinaire. Jovi's putt. Just comes up a hair short, marking it, picking it up, thinking about it. Now the lefty. Don't know which Dawson boy girl that is. And just missed that one. Just missed her putt. And tap it in. Uh, it said the rain's going to stop at 633, but it's picking up more right now. I do see some daylight out there. There's Corey. Uh, Corey Larson, head coach of the Dawson Boyd golf team, and also. Well, I don't know if he's head coach of the Boyd's team, but no, he's head coach of the basketball and football. They had a very fun year in basketball. And look at that. Our final group is walking up as this group is off. There they go. All right, here we go. Laura Schreier from Dawson Boyd, Reese Oxendorf from Dawson Boyd, Allison Isaacs from Lakeview, and Lauren Bow from Lakeview. Here they come. We'll see if they wave or not. We'll try to get this camera wiped off before they get up there. little rain shower right before they came up here and got the lens up there so you can kind of see it right over that bag there, right towards the quarter edge of the fencing. All right, gonna change out a club, I think here, go with a different one. That's gonna send Allison Isaacs up to the tee box. Good contact up in the air. Is it gonna carry the water? Uh, it just came came up short of the water, so that's good. Didn't carry it over, but it ended up right about there in the middle of the screen. Now on the tee, Lauren Bow.
He had that one up in the air too, and I see land. I see it on land. It's now uh, you probably can't catch it here. It's an orange ball, so it's either short of the water or just over it, but it's safe. Got that little water running there. Hitting into a wind. That ball's drifting right on her. Oh, and hit the road and bounced over. So well, that means she's gonna have to go grab another ball and try it again. Guys that hit in the simulator in the garage in the winter time would be hitting the red button. The red button is mulligan unfortunately in the competition here that button is not available pulls that one left I think looks like it maybe caught the cart path they're watching it we'll see where that one ended up but now they make their walk down and look at that Sun's coming out. Yay. Right as the tournament comes to an end. You know, I looked at the forecast and we had about a 20% chance of rain. And what do you know that happened? So uh, finishing off Lauren Schreier, Reese Oxendorf, Allison Isaacs. And Lauren Bow. All right. There's Allison walking up to her ball, safely short of the water. So she'll be hitting her second shot. Say so she's got about a 40-yard shot there. Gets that one up over, and just short of the green. See if I can zoom in on it. That orange ball is so hard to find, but I think it's right there. So she's lying to, or laying to, laying to, not lying, laying to. Would be the third shot off of the tee that was pulled left. bridge that connects to the clubhouse they're back by that that's they're probably looks like they're about 50 some yards away from the green so that ball definitely caught the car path and just bounced and bounced oh yeah we do got a group of boys coming through yet too we're not done yet Okay, she must have played. I didn't see you. All right, Lauren Bow. No harm, no foul there. Chip it in. Ball is on the green. See that now. Lauren goes. That's her par putt. Leaves it short by about, it's hard to say, five, six feet. Now from the rolling, tracking towards the hole, coming up short, left herself, or is that the girl that was a hit in the wall? Oh. Missed it. It's gonna tap hers in. I think bogey. There's up in for double. And knocks it in. 
And that's it for the girls. I'm gonna get out of this tent now that the rain's done. Last that one in the sun. So we've got Jonas Henrik, Kova Newman, and Logan Dirksen. drifting just a little bit right and goes over the green nice shot though nice shot we're gonna get the tripod back up to normal height trying to get this camera level again. <sighs> this would have been a much better way to stream this event standing here. So this is Jonas Henrik, Coven Newman, and Logan Dirksen. Coming up next, these guys are done with hole number four. will be Trenton Johnson, Alice Longnecker, Landon Teske, and Mike Tyne. Um, I'll tell people to turn it off. No. Did you really? Nice. Got word from Landon Teske, you chipped in from 125 yards out today. <coughs> what? Our second shot chipped. Couldn't quite see where that rolled to. There's a second shot chipping up. That one's going to come up just a little bit short. See it rolling out. About 12 feet left for a par. Where there's there's Colvin. His second shot left himself with about an eight footer.
shift his onto the green. We'll have a all guys putting for par. That's a common problem all day, leaving the putts short, especially even on those long ones. Those leg putts are hard to get that feel for early in the year and the slower greens. And then after the rain, they're going to be even slower. Here's Colvin's par putt. Oh, no, nope. not Colvin right now. Oh, look at that putt. Just missed it. Tap in bogey. Now, Coven, maybe, just rolled it past, could run at it, Looks like he left himself about a two and a half, three foot putt, that putt also rolled past for, I think that was also a power putt, Coven taps his in for a bogey. I'm cold out here. Nice putt to finish that hole. And I look at the group on hole number four, and there's a gentleman wearing shorts. I'm in a winter coat, stocking hat, gloves, and that didn't keep me warm. All right, our next group is Trenton Johnson from Tracy Milroy Ballot and Ellis Longnecker from Ortonville, Landon Teske from Lakeview, and Mike Tyne from McRae. Now Landon Teske tells me he wants everybody to turn the camera off right now, so don't watch him hit. That's up to you. You guys make the call, but he says don't watch. <laughs> All right. This group says it's time to go to the bathroom right now. <laughs> they want me to go to a commercial right now. Funny they know I don't have commercials up and running on this one. These guys are having a fun time. You can tell that. Pushed it a little right. And he's safe. That's Karen Berg, too. He was worried about that car driving. Oh, a nice low one into the wind. I like that shot. It's going to roll up there. That's on the green. That was a nice shot. Let's see if we can find it. I'm I, trying to find it. I don't know where I went, but that was nice. <laughs> All right, whoever's that just said hi, Mom, and waved. So Hopefully your mom's watching. Pulled that one left. Going towards the trees there behind number two green. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> um, I think this coach forgot that this guy has to hit.
These guys are having a good time. There we go, Landon's off. My hands are getting cold, I have gloves here, but um, yeah, see they got kind of wet, I used them to kneel. And we'll have one final group after this one. We've got three guys. Should be Evan Gustafson from Central Minnesota Christian, Evan Menning from Dawson Boyd, and Braden Coleman from Minneota. All right, now we've got this group, we've got guys on both sides. So we'll kind of keep it open here. We have one over here couple one over here don't know where to go but here's shot number two up over the crick short of the green but safe One guy deep. Don't know who's gonna hit next. Try to find it. <coughs> Got one. He's over in the trees right here. We can see you're gonna head over that water into the elevated green. No idea where that one went. There's shot number two here. Landon on the other side of the. Tr oh, that one came up short. There's three. Landon Teske is on the other side of the street. You can kind of see him right there. That's his. Be his second shot. Shifts it up. Ooh. See that one rolled right there. He'll have that left for a par putt. There's shot number four. Rolls it to the back of the green. All right. This for birdie. That's uh, that's impressive. I was an actually rolled that one past, but most most kids have been leaving that short. Landon Teske for a par. Pulled it just left. Gonna walk away with a bogey. <laughs> <Waved it. laughs> that was bogey we kept it and just missed that one to the right I think that was also a bogey putt Drains it. No matter how hole is going, you just want to finish strong, get some momentum going into your final hole at the back of the cup. Dropped it in. And that's it. Now we got three guys left. 
That should be Evan Gustafson from Central, Evan Menning from Dawson Boyd, and Braden Coleman from Minnesota. A low liner that one's and it's safe you can see it right there on the in the ditch just on the left side of the tree about a probably about a 20 yard 25 yard chip shot coming back here's the gentleman in shorts I'm cold and just cold watching him that left heard a little bit of noise that one probably is in the drink unless you got a good bounce off the rocks So our three shots, one went long right, one left in the water, and one short, potentially maybe rolled into the water. Don't know. It drops down, so we'll see. Start to kind of pick things up here. Again, I'd like to thank you for tuning in and watching today's uh, Lakeview Invitational. Couldn't be possible without all of our sponsors. I'd like to thank them, Lakeview Booster Club, uh, Borch's Sporting Goods, City of Cottonwood, Cottonwood Body Shop, Cottonwood Co-op Co Oil Company, DJ's Planter Sales and Service, Extreme Panel Technologies, Farm Word and Egg Quest, First Independent Bank, Hanley Falls Fire Department, High V, Infinity Egg, Jesuits Electric, Marshall Machine Shop, North Star Mutual Insurance Company, and Pulver Towing. Hey, it looks like this shot was short, so we say if this is number two. Oh, we had two shots go at the same time there. Didn't see that one. The guy in shorts, we saw his ball rolling up there. The one short, one right there. So this this is a tough shot. The ball's on a downhill lie. Yeah, God, that's that's hard. Just was gonna talk about kind of how to play through that one. Got it change your angle of attack to get it to pop up and then now we see it come up just short on the fringe of the green so that'll be he's lying one two, three right there with that left for bogey all right now double bogey remains Guy in shorts, I believe, might have been in the water. So that'd be one, two in, drop three, or one, drop two, 
hit three. So this should be a bogey putt for him. Double bogey putt just missed. Look at that putt almost in the hole. So close. Right next to it. Just walk up, tap it in. And here we go. Final hole putt on hole number five for the tournament. Tap in. And we're done. All right, that's going to do it from hole number five at Cottonwood Country Club here in Cottonwood, Minnesota. Again, I'd like to thank you for tuning in for today's Lakeview Invitational. We'll be back again on Thursday with a Lakeview track and field meet. That uh, field event starting at 3.30, running events at 4.30. And then on Friday, we'll have baseball, Lakeview versus TMB. I believe that game is 4.30 start. So again, thank you for tuning in. Have yourselves a great evening.